everybody, Val here, and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Hey, today we're going to try something a little bit different. I had posted a picture on our Instagram feed, which also showed up on our Facebook page, and it was for this, uh, I guess, there's no other way to say it except what they bill themselves as, chicken luncheon meat, or chicken luncheon loaf. And the company is Zwan. They're located in the Netherlands. And uh, this is halal. So it is, it's kind of like, uh, I, I believe, what I believe is that it is the halal version of Spam, which can't use pork and uses chicken instead. So this is completely made out of chicken. So I thought, well, you know, how do I want to prepare this? It comes in a can just like Spam. And uh, the picture that I posted, which you can see right here, was a, a tall cylindrical can. It was more than I could ever eat in a lifetime. So I just got the, uh, the smaller can, the smaller spam size can. There's the uh, writing in Arabic, if uh, any of you uh, read Arabic. And this, uh, again, it is halal. It is made with chicken and it is made with mechanically separated chicken. So I thought, well, how do I want to prepare this? Now, the thing is, it, it's not billed as spam. It is billed as a luncheon loaf. And a luncheon loaf is essentially a luncheon meat or a lunch meat. And so it's designed or made to be eaten cold as, you know, as cold cuts. That's basically what a lun what luncheon loaf is. It's basically a, a big loaf that's designed to be sliced up and put in sandwiches as cold cuts. So I thought, yeah, okay, I'll do that. And I'm not even gonna call this a bond me. It's really not. It's, uh, but uh, I decided what I would do is I would do a sandwich with it as cold cuts. And so I have um, a baguette that has uh, two slices of this uncooked cold or unreheated and cold. Uh, some mayonnaise, some scorpion pepper sauce, uh, some greens, and some yellow tomato. And that's all that really is, is going on here. So we're, and, oh, and, and some Swiss cheese. So we're gonna taste this as lunch and loaf, as lunch meat for a sandwich, as it was designed for. But then I thought, well, let me make a couple of other things as well. So this lends itself to being the halal version of Spam. And for those who don't know what halal is, Halal is basically the Islamic ritual of preparing meat to be eaten. There's a process that they have to go through and it's very specific as to how the animals are slaughtered. And so this is specifically halal. And so, um, so I decided what I was gonna do is I was gonna do things that you do with spam and things that you do with chicken. So we have our sandwich. We also have just a grilled piece of the chicken luncheon loaf with a fried egg on top of it. So this is like, uh, like you would grill spam for breakfast or you would have spam for breakfast. On this one, I decided it's made out of mechanically separated chicken, which to me is the same thing as a chicken McNugget, right? So I decided I was gonna make this like a giant McNugget. So uh, I just kind of uh, dredged it through some milk, put some flour on it, dredged it through the milk again, put some cornmeal on it, and then deep fried that. So that's what this is right here. It's the equivalent of a, of a chicken McNugget, but it is a, a halal chicken luncheon meat Mc, no, I, I don't know, I don't know what it is. And then last and certainly not least, I decided I was gonna give it the musubi uh, treatment. And so I made the equivalent of spam musubi. Um, we'll call it zwan musubi, how's that? So this is chicken instead of spam, which is made out of spiced ham. And uh, this is relatively easy to make. So you need sticky rice or sushi rice, that'll work. And um, you form that in the same shape as the piece of meat. And you can do that by kind of creating a mound out of it, flattening it down on the top, and then using the can as kind of a mold for that. And that works pretty well. The meat itself is grilled, and then there's a special sauce that gets put on top. And that sauce is a blend of uh, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and brown sugar. And so some people marinate that overnight. They marinate the meat overnight. Uh, or you can just like kind of um, paint it on uh, while it's being prepared, like just before you take it off the grill, which is what I did here. And then it's wrapped in a piece of nori. So here it is. Here is our take on what you can do with Zwan chicken lunch and loaf from the Netherlands. So uh, let's, let, let's start with the hot stuff so it doesn't get cold and we'll finish with the sandwich. So this is, again, this is what you would typically like eat Spam for breakfast. It's just Spam with a fried egg, but this is this one with a fried egg. Texturally, it's more even than Spam. So Spam has has like um, 
has kind of a, I want to say a gritty texture. We can taste the little pieces and everything. And this is kind of like really, really smooth. Um, you know, like a, like a tofu consistency. It's not uh, hard and chewy. There, we got some of that nice yolk on there. Let's try that. Now, it also has some spices in it. I think it might have some, some sort of wheat product in it as well. But it's pretty much chicken. I mean, there's no other meat in it. Well, it doesn't taste chickeny. No, it doesn't taste like spam either, of course. So yeah, this would be a this would be a good substitute if you felt like substituting something for spam. I think it's maybe about the same price as spam. Your best bet to try to find this would be like a Middle Eastern market. It's actually pretty good. But again, keep in mind, you know, we're getting it hot. So I'm reserving judgment until we get to the cold part. Hmm, that is pretty good. I could eat that for breakfast. And, you know, you could do other things that you would do with spam, like put it in a scramble, you know, cut it into dice, and, or make um, fried rice with it, you know. You could do that. You can do that as well. So again, since this is hot, let's try this now. Now, because this is the equivalent of a McNugget, a McNugget kind of thing, it's a mechanically separated piece of chicken, essentially, that's uh, fried. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dip it in something. And so what I decided was I was gonna dip it with is maybe ranch dressing would be a nice dip for that. Maybe a Szechuan sauce or something. I'm gonna use an in and out spread which is like a Thousand Island dressing. And we'll dip it in that. I suppose I could look at the ingredients and see what's in their spread, which goes on their hamburgers, but uh, you know, I'm too lazy. So I'm just gonna put it there and I'm gonna dip it. So i break off a piece of this. And again, we'll call them, you know, Zwan McNuggets. Yeah, it formed a crust on there. I imagine it's hot inside. And uh, it's, it's pink, which is really weird because I didn't think chicken would be pink. Maybe they add some artificial coloring to it. It might taste a little bit more like chicken, but the texture throws it completely off. It doesn't have the texture of chicken at all. I mean, look at that. Let's try it without dipping it. That's a nice crunchy shell on the outside. I kind of wanted it to be more like fried chicken, but you know. It's savory. It's just it's just a reminiscent of chicken. So I was thinking it would have more of a like a, a you know strong chicken taste. It's kind of subdued. I mean, it's there, but it's kind of subdued. So the the sauce kind of helps it along a little bit. One texture is really weird. If you're expecting this to have the texture of spam you're going to be unpleasantly surprised. Okay. Let's do the misubi. I guess we just pick this up. I might have put more rice in. Eh, that's about right. Let's see what this is all about. It's important you use a good rice. And the sauce. 
but it's good. I mean, the thing about Spam is spi Spam is spiced ham, so. So uh, yeah, it's a completely different texture than Spam, but it's actually pretty good. You know, I think this would be this would be a nice substitute if you wanted a substitute, but you're just substituting one meat for another, but it's a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, it's it's the spice. It's the spice that makes spam spam, spicy ham. And it's the spice that makes this very similar. So let's go with the sandwich, because this is the, te the true test of a luncheon meat, is to eat, be eating it cold in a sandwich. Let's give this a shot. It's spicy, it's also very salty. And you get more of the salt in the sandwich when you're eating it cold than you do when it's been heated up or grilled. I think. Um, here, it's almost like an ingredient you would find in a banh mi sandwich. So it's not a big departure there. Yeah. Again, since for halal, you can't eat pork, I guess this is a good substitute. So it's one, Chicken luncheon loaf. I thought it was a little bit scary when I saw it, um, but it's actually it's a decent alternative to spam. So let's go ahead and rate this. The uh, spam, the breakfast. I keep calling it spam. I'll call it zwan. The breakfast zwan with the egg, thumbs up. Um, the zwan musubi, thumbs up. Um, the zwan McNugget, thumbs up. Uh, the thumbs in the middle on that one. That one was a little bit. Uh, a little bit iffier, just because it, it, you know you, you, you weren't getting that chicken texture that you were looking for, and then the uh, the sandwich itself, thumbs up. So um, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna say thumbs up in general. Pretty good. Uh, I was scared of it. I, there's no reason to be. If you get a chance, I'd go out and get this. That's pretty decent. So remember, it's crazy out there. So take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Be careful, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.